games, I wonder what happened to it. Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at a new Nintendo Switch game that came out recently. This is Golf Club Wasteland from Untold Tales. This will set you back $9.99, £8.99, although there is a 20% discount for the next week or so. So if you like the look at this one, check it out pretty quickly. Uh, this is a fairly standard 2D golf game. Um, the idea is here that um, Earth has been ruined and everybody's moved to Mars. And there are sort of uh, trips back to Earth for people to play golf on the uh, wasteland that's been left behind. The, the main reason that you're going to be playing this one is because of the superb soundtrack to the game. Now, if that sounds weird, you'll probably see why very shortly, but or hear why more like it but what i'm going to do is i'll interject every now and again with a little bit of gameplay commentary but for now i'm just going to play this um just going to play the gameplay whoa but i'm going to um leave lots of quiet gaps so you can hear the uh the superb soundtrack basically it's like a radio station with loads of chatter really really cool like brilliantly voiced and um, sort of little radio clips as well, little songs, adverts, stuff like that. It's absolutely brilliantly done. And as I say, the golf game itself is nothing special. We've seen this in quite a few different sort of um, indie 2D side-on golf games. There's nothing here that's mind-blowing at all. Although, you know, the courses are nicely drawn and, you know, quite tricky to play. It's, it's still a fun golf game if you like this sort of 2D side-on golf games. But as I say, you're going to be playing this to stick it on late at night stick some headphones in and just chill out with the gameplay and the soundtrack honestly it's brilliant i'm gonna just play for you know five minutes or so now probably interject a little bit every now and again but just have a listen to this soundtrack and the background and uh, enjoy the gameplay So these little story bits that pop up uh, there's two modes in the game the story mode you get these little uh, bits of story as you play and also a challenge mode where you get par i think it's 12 on every hole to complete each hole One thing that's really cool is how the uh, sound of the ball interacts differently with different materials. If you listen to this, you can hear it sort of rattling against the metal. And when it hits like one of the metal containers, it's a different noise again. Wood and dirt and water all make different noises. It's really cool. Nice little touches like that, like this sort of 
hand becoming unbalanced as you land. Well done really well up to this point. Radio bit now, I'll let you uh, hear this. Creatures of the world, now that's attracted, takes us back. Stefan Milenkovic, pining for blue skies, house musing on the games we play. Just a reminder that until further notice, there is a moratorium on all team leaders playing card and board games with their teams, following an incident over a game of Monopoly in Section C. All senior section team leaders will convene for emergency counselling and anger management courses. Until then, there will be no intersectional board game tournaments and no games with groups larger than four people at a time per team. In the interim, teams are encouraged to take advantage of the half ration special on OMAS, the delicious and relaxing drink that takes the edge off of everything. Our next caller, Yamil, takes us into her world of food, smells, sensuality, blue skies, and sings us a personal song to remember. Histoire, mémoire, le bon vieux temps, source originale, fable authentique, espoir, inspiration, drame, musique, radio nostalgie de Mars. Wow, it's a difficult one. I have nightmares. I'm happy to be alive, but I knew many who deserved to live more than I did. But this is a radio program about nostalgia, not guilt. I've been nostalgic since I was 20, when I left Havana. In Europe, I felt different. Each country has a smell. Mars doesn't. Where I come from, the smell of the ocean, mango, I don't want it to bananas, go down. I don't want it to go in the swimming pool. Mama's food, ropa vieja, de la abuelita, el con gris, la yuca con mojito. This is going to be impossible. The most beautiful San Malecón, the smell of my street when the rain falls. All of that make me into the person I am. So oh. when I left, I grew stronger. I experienced the world, but forever stayed incomplete. So now I'm double nostalgic. We were full of life, laughing on warm nights under blue sky, touching each other. The air filled with the smell of sweat from dancing with a orchestra Aragon playing from an apartment. Now, the only way I can feel this scent Sim. is by singing. Yes. Como fue? No sé decirte Como fue? No sé explicarme qué pasó No, that's too weak. Pero de ti Controls are really simple, obviously, as you've probably gathered if you're still watching the, um, just set an angle with the left stick and then hit A to hit the ball and that is basically it. So, sort of saying about the gameplay, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, there's, there's no real depth to the gameplay. It's, you know, if you take the soundtrack away, it's a pretty basic golf game. But say you're playing this for kind of the artistic experience. Game also comes with uh, official soundtrack, 
and a visual novel as well that tells you uh, more about the character that you're playing and his backstory, which is quite cool. Oh, no. So hold up, hold up. No. It needs to come up higher so it drops onto that plateau. Thank you, Yamil. What a wonderful story. Reminds us that life is about so much more than just base survival. Well, living in space has always been challenging. And here's a song that pokes a little fun at living in cramped quarters. It needs no introduction. All you, all you want, it's a classic. Take a moment, relax, and remember with Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Nice little um, meme in the background there, called Vifi. Is it Donald Trump that tweeted that? From the Cold War arms race, whether Kubrick or Tarkovsky, Solaris or 2001, Melville or Dostoyevsky, you say you want to come to Jurassic. It's holes are getting gradually more difficult. This one needs to, oh, I'm not land in the sand. That is an international relations to astronauts. Don't get me started on Stalin and your talent to suffer on the zones, my friend. Your history is lost. You also inflict scars to astronauts. Beautiful art that is an international relations to astronauts. There's also a third mode in the game you can unlock, uh, which is an Iron Man mode, uh, which uh, I think puts a really tight power on it. We'll go back and have a very quick look at um, some of the other stuff in the game. Probably play one more hole here, but hopefully you've got a good idea of what this one's about. Thanks if you're still watching the gameplay. I know it's um, been quite chilled out, relaxing compared to my usual uh, blurb that I talk over the gameplay but I just wanted to get across that this one is more about the experience and uh, enjoying the soundtrack and a relaxing experience rather than any sort of um, complications in gameplay you can hear as well hopefully the quality I mean you know it's if you're going to make a game that sort of relies on its soundtrack and music, then you better make it good. And this game is just superb. The, the production details in the music and the sort of radio DJ is just absolutely superb. Hipster pubes. <laughs> I've got no idea. No idea. Ooh, someone in the foreground. Where did that foreground? Did the cow eat it? That is an international relation to astronauts. Eating the ball. <laughs> no, right, we need to play it really short. Well, 
Do. Chip the cow. The phrase that I think I've ever said. Oh no! In the bin. Musica e stari dobri danno. Radio nostalgia samas. Anna Church in there, and arguably the first interplanetary hit to astronauts an anthem to the great evacuation and certainly one of our most popular requests speaking of requests please follow habitat protocols for sanitation no liquids out so i think we'll leave the um gameplay there we'll just go and have a quick look back at the uh, options just so you can see the different game modes and stuff so there's 35 holes current level 13 of 35 we got a score here See the pars there get really high at the moment. You just look at our pars. It starts at three, then four, three, seven, and six, and six. This next one here, Ishmael and the albino giraffe, is a nine par. But then look how they get higher. Hole 15, 18 par, 13, 17, 16, 20. So obviously going to get a lot more difficult. And then the last hole is a par one. Need a hole in one. But we're currently 600 at the moment, so that's quite good. Got a diary which um, has been unlocking as we go along. You can see there you need to get certain scores to unlock more information of the story, which is quite cool. So I had to reset the game to get back here to the main menu. Uh, but here we go, just to show you, we've got the story mode here, which we were playing now. So the little story pops up between holes. Challenge mode is when you have to uh, reach the hole in the uh, allotted par and if you don't the ball explodes and you have to start again and then the iron mode here which i'm not exactly sure what it is but um it says no mistakes allowed so that'd be quite interesting but i've played the challenge mode and story mode both are good as i say this isn't the game that's going to uh, last you you know months and months and months probably it's an experience to play through i really like it i say that the the quality of playing it sort of late at night and just having that sort of late night radio broadcast feeling is excellent pretty much unlike anything i've played before so if that sort of thing appeals to you check it out in the shop as i say there is a 20 percent discount on the price at the moment so it may be a good time to pick it up or stick it on your wish list for future hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment below if you're going to be picking this one up subscribe if you're new thanks very much for watching and i will see you all next time cheers everyone bye bye